Hi folks, Matt from the Edge Crew again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about setting up the computers for your students to use Minecraft EDU. In our last tutorial we talked about setting up Minecraft EDU for the first time on your computer that you're using as a server. And in this tutorial we'll talk about what to do when you are loading it up for students. Now you're going to use the same file that you downloaded originally. You can go over this in tutorial 1 on how to do that. Now you can take this Minecraft EDU file that we downloaded earlier and make a copy of it onto a flash drive or into a network location that you have easy access to from your students computers. And you're going to run the same exact file and same exact procedure that we talked about in tutorial 2 with one minor exception. Okay, we talked about this in, in tutorial 2 that when we get to this page right here where we select components last time we checked the box for server tool this time for student computers we want to leave that unchecked otherwise you're doing the same exact procedure and if you need to select a location which might be a good idea um, for your student computers depends on how you are actually setting this up on the computers you may want to talk to uh, one of your IT people in your school if you need to so once you've done that just as before hit continue and you'll load up the Minecraft EDU file just like you did in tutorial 2 and once you have that loaded on your student computers you should be all set to go in our future tutorials we will talk about how to connect the client computers your student computers into the server that you create on your teacher computer